Hi. Welcome. This is for Sagittarius, Aries, and Aquarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius, you are starting a new project, a new beginning. There's something also could be sexual thing. Um, it could be a sexual thing too for some of you. You might be single right now and you've been patient and you've been by yourself. Maybe you're getting rid of old toxic. Oh, my heart chakra is going off right now. Somebody is definitely experiencing something with the heart. It's okay. I got it. Thank you. It's learning to, um, Sag, you have the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Temperance card here on the top. Okay, so this would be a new beginning, right? Me, maybe being single, a new beginning, something you've been patient for. There's something coming towards you. It's a project, a new beginning. I don't know what it is, but it's going to be something that you're going to, it's going to excite you. There is something toxic. Some of you could be leaving a toxic work situation. This could be a, something that you've been working on that's been toxic for you and that you... God, there's something coming towards you. A friendship that was here. <sighs> Guys, that was the biggest sign that you'll ever get right there. I'm just going to say, oh my God, this is why my heart isn't right now. You know, blue jays represent friendship from the spirit world. People who are your friends in the spirit world that are here to look out for you and they got your back type of thing. Just this morning, I prayed and asked God to like, bring about like anything that i need like to remove anything that i need and it's like somebody a friend from the spirit world came through right on that uh branch to show you guys and me that something is about to you're you have a lot of friends all right like i'm hearing that song i got friends on the other side you know from the movie um princess and the frog it's almost like that i am i am seeing some like voodoo type stuff too but not in a bad way like i'm seeing it as in clearing and cleansing stuff and maybe um doing your own like not magic on people i don't recommend doing ever that because remember you're always paying back somebody for something right so but that kind of magic of clearing your own energy and that's what i've been working on. i'm telling you there's some toxic energy being removed completely you're breaking the chains like i'm hearing that that song it's it's a really good song by hill song united um break every chain you know it's a it's a it's like a gospel song Break every train, break every chain. It's called by Hillsong United, and I love that song. Okay, I'm in hand. Yeah, Amen is right. That's like a beautiful sign, a beautiful message from spirit. Like we got you back, and I shit you not. As I'm sitting here minding my business, all of a sudden, there is a swarm of bees, and they are all over. Like they're all over. It's like the blue jay is up there. He's sitting up there and he's a different type of blue jay. He's an albino blue jay and he's only got blue feathers. The rest of him is white, which is so crazy. I've never seen that before. And a bunch of bees started, you know, bees represent work and diligently working together to create, you know, a hive, you know what I mean? To create the honey and all that stuff. So it's like whatever you're working on is coming towards you. Sagittarius, that was a beautiful sign for you. I'm just going to say. The great severing, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. I was going to say before you guys, I'm getting a big message here that I need to share with you. It feels very strongly. Hi, soldier, my darling. I can't wait to come see you in Amsterdam very soon, baby, very soon. There's a big message here that I have to tell you because it's like my heart is full right now for you guys. Whatever is happening, the great severing, right? The great severing. This is the great severing. I love this fucking card because... It always tells me all paths lead to home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Stop looking around you, Sag. Stop looking to this, to that, to there, to those. And I'm telling you, there's three blue jays right here, right by my window. And they, look, one, two, three. I'm, I shit you not. Oh, my heart. My heart. You have so much support, man. You are supported here. The angels are showing up for your ass right here, right here. And on the top of this was your card, all right? On top of this was your card. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wish fulfillment. Something's coming to fruition. Mind you, pay attention to the good. Focus steadfastly on the good, okay? Sag, that's your big message here, okay? Let's step into Aries. Did I do Aries already? Did I do Aries already? Does anybody... 
Can anybody look? Because if I get out and go look, I did do Aries, didn't I? Wait, so Virgo, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces. That's who I'm missing. Pisces, my bad. Okay, my bad. So this is for Pisces, my bezel, my bezel, dizzle. So this is for Pisces, okay? I can't change it when I'm, I'll change it after. So this is, this is Sag, Aquarius, and Pisces. My bad. Okay. All right, let's get to Aquarius. What do we got for Aquarius? Please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For all of it. Oh, my God. These cards are flying up. They're flying up nonstop. Aquarius. Oh. Yes. Okay, Aquarius. Whatever um, negative stuff that you felt or you weren't seeing clearly or you have, you've, been, you've been thinking about, that shit is gone. Like, I'm going to tell you, it's it's gone to the side, to the left, to the right. It's gone. It's gone. So this is like the type of shit where you were like, bro, everything was going so bad. But you are, oh, Aquarius, congratulations. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We were on a show called like, like you know, The Price is Right or something like that. I'm just going to tell you. Yes, would have won the big prize. Like, you would have chose the door with the prize in it. I'm just going to tell you. There would have been door number one, door number two, door number three. And yes, would have chose door number three. With door number three, and I always pick three. Door number three, and yes, would have got the prize. Aquarius, there's a fucking clearing here happening for you. I'm so proud of you. You have been so fucking patient for this. Patience is not even the word. Like, you have been waiting and waiting and waiting for something. And finally, it's like something is breaking through. And this could have to do with working with other people. Whatever you left behind and you're taking your time to focus on now this message that's coming in for you right now Aquarius I'm just gonna tell you stop worrying focus on love okay no matter what people do to you focus on love send them love send them lots of love that's what I'm doing I'm sitting here I'm sending people lots of love God send them lots of love no hate no shade no fame no fame no fame look at that um somebody could be famous here I don't know but um you send them a lot of love i love you too guys i love you too thank you that's why you always got to remember for every one person that can't stand you or tries to like do shit there's 100 people that do love you so that's how you gotta focus man love it's all about love that's the highest vibrational frequency you could be in okay beautiful beautiful aquarius beautiful messages pisces what do we got for you pisces because for the pisces i've really been feeling like Somebody's like finally feeling like, um, and I'm going to say like, there's, uh, you chose a very hard lesson in this lifetime, Pisces. And I'm going to say the lessons that you chose, they, they could be confusing. I finished Sagittarius. That was the first one I did. And it's a beautiful reading. You need to look back at that sad reading. And even if you're not those signs, okay. Um, yep. Okay. Pisces. Like I said, finally, finally, finally. Say yes to change, Pisces. You're an empathic star seed. You're a star keeper. You see the light by staying grounded. Yes, you are here on a double mission, Pisces. Of course, when I get to the immaculate Pisces, you know, um, Jesus is associated with the Pisces, right? Because Jesus was a fisherman and he's associated with the Pisces. And I am a big, 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 I love Jesus. Like I really do. I, Jesus is one of my favorite healing um, companions when I heal people. I feel like that's who assists me in Archangel Raphael and Mary and um, all that. So like I, I am associated with a lot of these archangels and these archetypes because I feel strongly that I am them, they are me, and they have struggled through different things in different time eras but i gotta tell you pisces there's a difference here between everything that i'm talking about the difference is that you know already all of this stuff about you that you're empathic you know that you're a star keeper you know you're not from here you know you were sent here on a mission you know that you know that nobody has to tell you that you already know that but you have been being guided very very much so especially recently because you're not alone don't isolate yourself you need physical connection with the community because you feels like you've been isolating yourself and kind of like driving yourself crazy with all of things that you're seeing so i want you to take time to relax and just like see the world the outside view okay let's see what else is coming for pisces <clears throat> pisces 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 yeah i gotta change that from sagittarius Ar aries sag aquarius to pisces yeah okay all right so let's see here 
yeah definitely cutting out the worrying stop worrying pisces you know that needs to end immediately and there is an offer an opportunity coming towards you and burdens are being canceled from you there is something with heartbreak here that's going to change for you maybe you dated people that weren't responsible or weren't fiscally responsible and now all of a sudden there's a commitment happening here and like your twin flame is coming in you are going to move away from something this could have to do with work there is something with work here that you're moving away from the queen of wands tells me that you're stepping into your power and the king of swords like it's like two different it's a twin flame energy it's like opposites attract type of thing is coming towards you and yeah you have not been wanting love for a while and you've been very indecisive about it but it's like spirit is going to lead you towards it because there's some balance coming in there's an ending and a new beginning with a death and a rebirth you have a couple i'm telling you somebody's gonna get a cup of offer of love whatever conflicts have been happening the justice is finally coming in justice has been served okay especially if this has to do with court or anything it's going to change for you now okay all right pisces love and light to you guys i love you all very much i hope you guys enjoyed these readings take care have a nice day i'm gonna go meditate all day today the rest of the day is just meditation and concentration i got i'm making my spiritual healing boxes i got the school for the gifted that i'm working on i got a lot of things i'm working on so i'm gonna go focus and regroup and try to go out in nature today because i need to connect with nature and get off my phone okay love and light too bye